No, you're not the real body. Come here. All right. Today we're going to be doing volleyball today. And volleyball is made up of pretty much four basic skills, which is bumping, setting, spiking, and, and blocking. But today we're going to be learning the most important one, which is pretty much called the bump pass. And does anyone know why it would be considered the most important? You? Because you have to be able to pass to get a hit. Right. So if you can't pass, you can't move the ball, you kind of aren't even playing. Or even you're playing a really boring game of volleyball. So today we're going to be learning about the about the forearm pass. And we're going to start off, I'll partner you guys up. Two of y'all, two, two and two. Yeah, that's how you go. All right, you guys get a ball. shoulder width apart, be on your tippy toes because you need to be light on your feet and also your arms would be away from your body because you always have to anticipate a ball. So if everyone can bend your knees, be light on your feet and put your arms out away from your body. Yeah, Just bend your knees a little more, yeah, so you look like you're ready. And if you can shuffle and move, that means you, you pretty much you're good. That's how it would work for you. So if you can move easily so you can flow, that will be, that's called the ready position of volleyball. So anytime once you're lined up and you're about to play the game, that is the position that you will want to be in. That's, you are able to, you should be ready with your eyes on the ball and that position is ready to be in. And next, we're going to learn our hand movement. In volleyball, you want to have your arms in a V, but you're going to cover it. So you're going to have, you would make, um, make a fist with one hand, it doesn't matter whether you do left or right. So everybody put a fist up in the air, all right? And bring it down, and then take your other arm and come across it, all right? No interlocking of fingers to keep it smooth. It's kind of almost like cheeks putting together. So you have one with your fist, and then you bring it along with your other one. It should look like this, all right? I'll just come around. So you don't want to keep them locked because if you keep them locked, you, you're just going all over the place. So have a nice bend so you can always fluctuate your arms. Fluctuate. All right. So yeah. <laughs> all right. Next will be um. Next will be we're gonna put all of these together and we're gonna do some toss passes along. Okay. All right, so everybody will start off in that ready position. If you're the one that's receiving, everybody start off ready position. And you're gonna, your partner is going to toss to you. And you gotta remember to bring, when you're going afterwards, you're gonna bring them together to do the, um, to receive the ball, okay? All right, so, so if we- So back to you? Yeah, you can okay. get it back. All right. 
nice. And whew, that was a really good bump. And you see that he had a nice arch with it. So it will flow back to his partner with four. Alright? Are you supposed to hit it with your four arms? Or... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, everybody, you should be sorry about that. I have to go back. But uh, this right here, as he is with his hands properly and set, you want to hit it on your forearm. Right here and here is what you call the sweet spot. And that's pretty much what you aim for when hitting the ball. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Everybody put your arms out in there. that you bend your knees, you don't have to lift your arms as high. Alright? Alright, good job. If 
I've seen a lot of good form. Just make sure you remember to always bend your knees and don't interlock your fingers. And you guys did really good. Uh -huh. Done. <laughs> 